Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have uh, 1 over m whole square minus 1 over m whole cubed equals to 80 and we solve this problem for the value of m. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first we uh, convert this equation into the simplified form. So uh, you see here this is 1 over m and now uh, I can just take here this 1 over m is equals to x. Okay, so here we replace this 1 over m equals to x, then uh, our above equation uh, is written as in this form x squared minus x cubed equals to 80. And now here first we find the value of x and after that we back substitute this value of x is 1 over m and we easily get the value of m. So here uh, in order to solve this equation, uh, first we need to focus on the right hand side and in the left hand side we have uh, the one term is square and the one term is cubic so we write this 80 as 64 plus 16 we know that 64 plus 16 becomes 80 uh, and again uh, we rewrite its right hand side as x squared minus x cube equals to this is 84 and we write it as 8 square uh, uh, or sorry we uh, write this as 4 cubed okay we know that 4 cubed equals to 64 and this is 16 and we write it as 4 square okay so in order to make uh, these two bases are same so that I cannot choose 8 square and I can choose here 4 cubed okay so now we move uh, the terms in the right hand side to the left hand side and we will make the pair of uh, square term with square and cubic term with cube okay so uh, in the left hand side we have the first term square is x square here the 4 square we move in the left hand side it is become minus 4 square and when we move this 4 cube in the left hand side it will becomes x cubed plus 4 cubed when you move this 4 cube in the left hand side it will becomes minus 4 cube and here i can just take common minus sign from these two terms and you get x cubed plus 4 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further here we need two nice formulas the first formula is the square identity and you know that a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b uh, and the second formula is we need here a cubed plus b cubed is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so here we need uh, these two formulas to solve the above equation uh, so now uh, first we apply uh, this square formula to the first term and it is written as x square minus 4 square so we have a is x and b is 4 so we write it as x minus 4 into x plus 4 and after that we apply the cubic formula on this term and it is written as uh, a plus b into a square so our a is x square minus a b so a is x b is 4 and plus b square so b is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0 okay so further uh, you see here uh, we have this x plus 4 be the common term so that now we just take here uh, common x plus 4 and the remaining terms are here we get x minus 4 and here we take common x plus 4 and the remaining terms are these ones and now we multiply this negative sign on all of these terms and it is written as minus x square and this minus terms of minus becomes plus 4x and this minus times of plus becomes minus 4 squared is 16 and this is equals to 0. Okay. So here we need more simplification and now we add or subtract the like terms. Okay. So uh, here first we uh, have the square term is minus x squared and uh, this is 4x plus x becomes 5x and minus 4 minus 16 becomes minus 20 and it is equals to 0 and now in the next step here we convert this equation into the two cases the first case is we take x plus 4 equals to 0 
And the second case is we take minus x square plus 5x minus 20 equals to 0. So here we easily get the value of x is equals to minus 4. And now uh, here first we, uh, we put or we back substitute the value of x and you see here our x is equals to 1 over m. And now we back substitute this value of x here. So this is 1 over m equals to minus 4. So finally you get the value of m equals to minus 1 over 4. So this is the first real solution of the given equation. And now in order to find the other solution, uh, we need to solve this quadratic equation. So here first we multiply both of the sides by minus 1 in order to write this equation into the standard form. Okay, so we need this step uh, and now we multiply both of the sides by minus 1. It is written as x square minus 5x plus 20 equals to 0. So this is quadratic equation and here we need to use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 5 and c equals to 20. So this is the uh, quadratic equation uh, and now we apply the quadratic formula. And you know about the quadratic formula, it is stated as uh, x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So here we substitute the values of a, b and c in this nice formula and it is written as x equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 5 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 20 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1. So further in the next step here we have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 5 and plus minus square root of minus 5 square and we know that minus 5 square equals to 25 and this 4 times of 20 equals to minus 80 and it is divided by 2. So here when we subtract this 25 by 80 then we get here 5 plus minus square root of uh, minus 55 okay because minus 55 plus 25 equals to 80 and this is divided by 2. So here we need a more simplification. So uh, you see here the negative sign becomes uh, uh, under the square root symbol so uh, we know that uh, iota is equals to square root of minus 1. So now we replace this minus 1 square root equals to iota and the remaining terms are x equals to 5 plus minus square root of 55 into iota and it is divided by 2. And now here we back substitute the value of x and we take our x is equals to 1 over m. So when you substitute it here it is written as 1 over m equals to 5 plus minus square root of 55 iota and it is divided by 2. So in order to find the value of m, here we need to take the reciprocal on both of the sides. So you just uh, exchange the, uh, both of these terms and you get here m equals to 2 over 5 plus minus square root of 55 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.